good news and bad news. After examining my injury, Dr. Fell told my parents he had to remove the arrow immediately. The operation lasted more than four hours. When it was over, Dr. Fell said that I was a very lucky boy. The arrow had gone through my eyelid, but it did not hit my eyeball. It had also slipped between two big arteries in my brain without cutting into them. If the arrow had nicked either artery, I would have died immediately. Dr. Fell said he had been able to remove all of the arrow. That was certainly good news. The bad news. There will probably be a lot of swelling in my brain for several days. And because the arrow was very dirty, I might get a serious infection. Dr. Fell said it would be three days before he would know how badly my brain had been injured. And he didn't know if I would ever be able to see with my left eye. After surgery, I was placed in pediatric intensive care unit, PICU for short. I must have been quite a sight. There were IVs, intravenous tubes stuck in my veins to put nourishment and medicine into my body and I had wires attached to me so the nurses could monitor my heartbeat and breathing.